right, Dove, are you ready to meet some new superheroes? All right. Okay, I'm going to share my screen and we're going to get started with our lesson, okay? All right. Can you guys see my screen here? Yes. Yes, okay. Now, could you show us Fantastic. the picture of it? Oh, I'm going to show you the picture. I'm going to show you a lot of things. All right, let me put this over here so that it's not in the way. Okay, <clears throat> so my friends, you can see this? Mm -hmm. Today we're going to meet some new superheroes. Who can read what that says? The Green Schoolhouse Presents. The Green Schoolhouse Presents. Superheroes. Superheroes. We're going to meet four. That's right, four new superheroes, and they're called the parts of speech. Are you guys ready to meet our superheroes? All right, here's the first one. Here is our first superhero. His name is, who can read that? Noon boy. Noun boy. His name is Noun boy. Yes, noun. <laughs> noun boy. And he has a little poem. If it's a person, thing, or place, you better call me just in case. My superpowers bring me fame. I point and give those things a name. That's that's Noun Boy, and his he has this poem. Oh, where's uh, do we have Spencer here? Hi, Spencer. All right, I'm gonna go back to uh, sharing our screen so we can continue to meet our friend. Where's our oops? Hold on a second. Um, can we just continue um, sharing and then? When it's done sharing, we yeah. already stop, stop sharing. Yes. So here we go. We're, oops. We are continuing on with our superheroes. So this is Noun Boy. If it's a person, place, or th if it's a person, thing, or place, you better call me just in case. My superpowers bring me fame. I point and give those things a name. So Noun Boy says, I name people, places, and things. Dove, stop making noise. I will kick you out. Noun Boy says, I name people, places, and things. Anything you can point to and say, what is that? I can tell you. Let's look at some examples, should we? Yes. All right. That is a cabbage, right? That's a cabbage. And that is a? a raccoon. And that's a raccoon. And that is? California. California, very good. And that is? Villain. The villain. Very good. Evil bad. That's evil bad. That's a villain. That's California. That's a raccoon. That's cabbage. These are all nouns that Noun Boy can name because they are places or people or things, right? Okay, or animals, right. Should we meet our next? Should we meet our next hero, superhero? Yeah. yeah. You guys ready to meet her? Yeah. Okay. Verb girl. It's verb girl, everybody. And she's got a poem too. When evil villains make a mess and people end up in distress, I fly, I fight, create distractions. I use my words for naming Action. actions. Very good. Let's look at some examples from Verb Girl. Ready? She makes words that describe actions. If you can do it, he's got a word for it. So let's look at some examples. That woman is? 
Running. Running. <clears throat> this poor this person is jumping. Jumping. These people are dancing. Dancing. And this cat is meowing. meowing. All of these meowing, dancing, jumping, running. These are all verbs that verb Gosh. girl. Yeah, they're all actions. They're all verbs that verb girl can name, right? Running, jumping, dancing, meowing. Verb girl. Okay, are we ready to meet our next superhero? Yes. Okay, here we go. It's adjective. Whoa. Adjective says, he's got a little poem too, and he says, I am the noun boy's trusted mate. Together, we are strong and great. From town to town, <clears throat> I work beside him. He gives me nouns and I... Describe them. And I describe them. That's right. Adjective describes nouns. He says, I make words that describe nouns. If you have a noun and you need to know what it's like, I can tell you. For example, is it a nice cat or a mean cat? Is the milk hot or is the milk cold? So all of those words that describe our nouns, nice and mean and hot and cold, all of those things are adjectives, right? So a cat is a noun and milk is a noun and then nice cat, mean cat, hot milk is hot and milk is cold uh, those are adjectives that this superhero is adding in order to describe the nouns okay let's look at some examples remember our nouns that we looked at before so we had a cabbage but now with the help of adjective we have that's a green cabbage right that's a friendly raccoon. California is big. big. That's an evil villain, right? All of these words that adjective has brought us, that he's working together with noun boy, he's helping us describe these nouns. Green cabbage, friendly raccoon. California is big. That's an evil villain, right? That helps us understand what these nouns are like. Should we continue and meet our next superhero? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Is that gonna be you? What's that? Is that gonna be your last superhero? This is gonna be the fourth and last superhero for today. And her name is the Adverbinatrix. Wow, she's pretty cool. Let's figure out what she's got to say. Adverbinatrix says, Verb girl and I make a heck of a team. How quickly we run and how loudly we scream. When action's the game and a verb is in need, I'll be there in a flash and describe it indeed. Oh, so the Adverbinatrix says, I make words that describe how a verb is being done, right? Often my words end in the letters L, Y, or the sound Li, right? Let's look at some examples, ready? He's running quickly. He's jumping Bravely. They're dancing happily. The cat is meowing loudly. loudly, right? All of these verbs, all of these words are brought to you by the adverbinatrix because she makes adverbs that describe the verbs, right? So running quickly, jumping bravely, dancing happily meowing loudly all of these words answer the question how is the verb being done 
How is he jumping? He's jumping bravely. How is she running? She's running quickly. How are they dancing? They're dancing happily. How is the cat meowing? Well, the cat is meowing loudly, right? All of these adverbs describe the verbs. Does this make sense so far, you guys? We're going to stop here for a minute. Is this making sense to everybody? Yeah. Does anybody have any questions so far? No questions? It's too bad that Dove isn't joining us because he hasn't been paying attention and he's not going to be ready when uh, our story here changes in a minute because every story with superheroes usually has what? A villain, and I think we might be about to meet our villain. Are you guys ready to meet our villain? Yeah. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Okay, I think we're about to meet our villain. Here we go. I'm gonna pull up our, where's my screen? Can I share your screen? Yes, I'm going to share my screen. Hang on a second. I'm going to share my screen. screen. Dove, did you understand everything? Did, were you listening? Yes. Were you paying attention? Yes, I was. Okay. Well, we should review very quickly because... Can you guys see my screen? We should review quickly because we have to be ready for our villain. If we're not ready for our villain, we're going to be in trouble, right? So let's make sure our superheroes are totally ready for our villain. Who remembers this superhero? Noun boy. Noun boy. What does he do? Noun boy. Noun boy. What is he that? tells you if it's a person, place, or thing. That's, he names it. Yes, he names people, places, and things. Okay, very good. Let's meet our. Uh, let's remember our next superhero. This is. Verb girl. Verb girl. Verb girl. Verb girl. What does she do? She when somebody makes a mess, she comes and she cleans it. Absolutely not. Verb girl does what? That's why you should be paying attention. Makes action. Yes, she she describes her. She describes. She describes words that make actions. She describes words that make actions. Anything that is an action something you can do or something somebody else does, the verb girl describes it. Like for example, running is an action, right? It's something you can do. Jumping is an action, something you can do. Dancing is an action, something you do. Meowing is an action, it's something a cat does, right? What's another example of a verb? Who can give me another? Climbing it. What's that? Describing it. No, not describing it. Well, I guess the word describing itself is a verb, right? To describe something. To swim. A, to swim. Very good. What's another example of a verb? Climbing. Climbing. What else? Jumping. Jumping. What else? Running. Running. What else? Skipping. Skipping. Very good. Good. Hopping. Making exercise. Yes, I think you guys got it. And Flipping. what are some examples? Let's go back to let's go back to noun boy for a second. Hang on, let's go back to noun boy because we, we have to make sure that every single one of our superheroes is ready for the villain. If they're not ready, we're gonna be in trouble, okay? So give me, give me some examples of nouns. What's an example of a noun? Aya, Mila, Dog, Sasha, uh, That's uh, right. Juliana, That's right. Rami, I don't know. Yes, very good. Pizza is a noun. Ice cream. Cal California. Airplane is a noun. Very good. Very good. Mexico. Okay, good. We got nouns and verbs, I think, down. Remember our, our next superhero? What's his name? Adjective. Adjective, and what does he do? He, um, he describes, like, words. He describes nouns. He describes nouns. So what are some examples of adjectives? Uh, the milk is hot. 
so what's the what's the word that's the adjective in that sentence? Is the cat nice? I did not. What meaning? Hot. Very good. Hot. Is the meal hot or nice. is the meal cold? Or the cucumber is purple. Yes, the cucumber is purple. Purple is the adjective there, right? Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, or that's, the, that's not real. the bike is yellow, so yellow is the adjective. Oh, that's okay, good. Cool. That's my color. Yellow. Good. So, you did it. Because... So any word that describes a noun is the result of this superhero adjective. Okay, our last superhero is the um the oh, wait, her name is Adverbinatrix. The adverbinatrix, okay? And what she does is she makes words that do what? Um, and she runs, oh. um, it, 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 like, la like, she, um, she's, like, like she stomps loudly. Well, she makes words that describe verbs, that describe actions, right? So when we need to ask the question of how is something being done, she makes the words that answer that question. So how is the person running? Well, they're running quickly. Or how is the person walking? Well, they're walking slowly. Uh, are we ready for the villain? Are we ready for the villain? Is everybody ready? I don't yes. think I don't think Dove is ready because he decided to leave again. Dove, are you ready to meet the villain or what? Are you ready to help our super? I don't know, guys. Here comes the villain. The Here comes the I think villain. villain is Evil Dan. You guys think it's Evil Bad? I guess yeah. we'll find out. Ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. It's... The Riddler? The Riddler. Oh my goodness, what is he doing here? I know, my dad makes him with math problems in the morning. Um, and um, the Riddler does um, questions. The Riddler asks questions. He asks really hard questions. He's full of question marks. And unless our heroes can help us solve the Riddler's questions, we're going to be in big trouble, you guys. The Riddler is full of question marks. Whoa! That's a lot of question marks, right? Okay, I think the Riddler is going to give us his first question. Are we ready with our superheroes to solve the problem? Yes. All and, right. And my superhero, Fox. <laughs> All right. Here comes the Riddler's first question. Get ready, everybody. That word. Can you all read it? Bread. What? Bread. What part of speech is it? Which superhero do we need for this word? Noun boy. Noun boy, very good. Let's see if that's really noun boy. Yes! Bread is a noun, right? Because bread is a... Thing. It's a thing. It's, uh, it's, it's Riddler versus noun boy. Riddler versus noun boy. But noun boy won this time because he guessed correctly because bread is a noun. Bread is a thing. Good job, noun boy. And thank you guys for helping noun boy solve this one. Okay, here comes the next question. Are you ready? Come on, Riddler. Let's see what you got. We'll see. Oh. Quiet. Quiet. It's the ad, the ad verb or something. Let it's quiet. What is What does the word quietly, quietly do? Quickly. Quiet. Quietly. I know, it's the adverb guy or something. It's the adverb in matrix, right? Because quietly is an adverb. It describes yeah. how something is done. That's right. There she is, the adverb in matrix. Good job, you guys. Ah, really, wait. Right we are, now, we're going to guess your questions. Mm. But we, got, we got to be careful, though, because the Riddler is, is tricky, okay? So here comes the next one. Quiet. This, the described guy. Flying. What should this be? Who's, who, which superhero do we need? Described guy. No, not the described guy. Flying is what? Wait, it, 
it's the verb, the adverb. Flying is a verb, right? Because it's it's an action to fly. No, but it's an adverb, right? No, it doesn't describe. Well, it, uh, no, it's it doesn't describe a word. It's it's basically uh, basically an action, right? So we need verb girl for this one. Verb girl mm -hmm. is because flying is a verb, right? Okay, next, uh, next. Uh, puzzle from the Riddler is angry. 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 Who do we need? Verb girl. Need? verb girl. Verb girl is angry a verb? No. What's angry? Um, um, uh, action. No, it's not an action. Angry describes a noun, right? Like if we have an angry cat or an angry person. So angry is an adjective. A angry is an adjective. Very good. Adjective describes a noun, right? Ooh, Riddler almost got us on that one. You guys got to be careful. Okay, here comes the next one. Silly. Silly. Adjective. Adjective. Is it an adjective? Yes. Who agrees with Sammy? Me. All right, let's see. That's right, it's an adjective. Very good, very good, you guys. Silly is a word that describes a noun, like a silly clown what about, or a silly dog. What about L Y? Silly, yeah, all right. What's, oh. the, what's, what's the other okay. villain? That's right, silly does end with an L-Y, but that's not an adverb, so. I wanna see our other villain. There's only this one, the Riddler. Let's keep going. Let's see what happens. He's got another question for us, I think. Oh. Read. 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 What, which superhero do we need for this word? Read is a? Action. An action. So what we need, uh, which, which superhero? For Verb action. girl. Verb girl. Very good, you guys. That was great. Good job. We need verb girl, of course, because read is an action. What about this word? School. 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 What is noun boy. Noun boy. Very good. We need noun boy, of course, because school is a thing or a place, right? Okay. Next puzzle. The Riddler is full. It's going to get harder. You guys better be ready. Sadly. Sadly. Who do we need here? Sadly. Who do we need? Which superhero do we need? Verb girl. Is sadly an action? Adjective. No. It's, sadly is how we do something, right? Adjective guy. We, we need the adverbinatrix, right? She describes adverbs. verbs. She describes or, how we do something. What about L-Y? Yeah, exactly. L-Y. It ends with L-Y. Sadly. We can feel sadly, right? We can uh, walk sadly or we can, we can do other things sadly. So basically it describes something we do and how we do it, right? Okay, here comes the next puzzle. Going. Going. What superhero do we need for this? I, th I think it's verb girl. I agree. I think it is verb girl. Very good. That's right, because going, doing something, right? All right, you guys got to be careful because the Riddler is super sneaky. He might make things a lot harder now. <gasps> oh my God. Two words. Who can read these? Walking carefully. Walking carefully. Can we solve this puzzle with just one superhero? No. How many? Two. We need two superheroes. Two. Which superheroes do we need here? Carefully should be Carefully should be the adverb guy. The adverb in nature. The girl. And then for what about for walking? Who do we need? Verb. Adjective guy. No, walking is what? Verb. Yeah, walking is a verb. It's something we do, right? It's an action word. So let's see if we're right. So what did you guys say? We need verb girl for walking and the adverbinatrix for carefully? Yes. All right, let's yeah. see if you're right. 
Very good, you guys. Very, very good. Well, the Riddler was sneaky on that one. He gave us two words. I wonder what he's got next for us. Can you just right. get out the Riddler? All right, Riddler. Let's let's see what you got. <gasps> Again, two words. Boy, he Eat is. Eat quickly. Eat quickly. Which which superheroes do we need for these words? Verb, I think. Um, um, adjective and uh, verb go. Which word do we need verb girl for? Eat, because eat is our action word, right? And what about quickly? What part of speech is that? Which superhero do we need for quickly? Adjective. Adjective describes a noun, right? Quickly is describing what? A verb. Quickly is describing a verb, right? It's how, how does that person eat? Well, they eat quickly. So we need the... Adverb. Adverb matrix, right? Let's see if we're right. Yes, that's no! right. we need verb girl and adverb and natrix. Very good. Okay, here comes our next puzzle from the Riddler. All right. <gasps> Again, two words. Boy, he is sneaky. Heavy, heavy box. Heavy box. Very good. Can we solve this with just one superhero? No. No. Which superheroes do we need? So. Let's let's look at our words here. What is what? Uh, let's look at the noun boy. noun boy for box. Noun boy for box. Very good, Juliana. What about for the first word, heavy? Who do we need for that one? What's that first word doing? It's describing the box, right? It's telling us if the box is heavy. So who do we need? Adjective. adjective, that's right. We need adjective and noun boy to help us with these two words because heavy is an adjective. It describes the box, describes the noun, and the box is a noun. Very good, you guys. Okay, here comes the next one. Can you read that? Happy children. Children. Happy children, very good. Which two superheroes do we need to help us solve this? Noun boy for children. Good job, Juliana, that's right. Children is a noun, so we need noun boy. What about the word happy? Verb. Is it a verb? Is it something we do? I think we need, um. Uh, adverb. No, I told you guys the Riddler was sneaky. The I woman happy is telling us something about the children. The children. Right? It's telling us how they feel. So we need an children. adjective. Very good. He's describing the children. Happy children. So the adjective describes a noun. Children is our noun. Why is he saying that? Because um, he does not like happy children. Well, we don't know that. We know that he likes to make riddles. We don't know if he wants to make children sad, but he definitely likes to make children uh, curious. So that's right, we need an adjective. We need adjective and we need noun boy for this because children is a noun and happy is the word that describes the noun. Very, very good. Okay, I think we just have a couple more. What about this one? Curious cat. Curious cat. Which two superheroes do we need for this? Noun boy for which word? Cat. For cat. And what about curious? Adjective for curious. Yes, that's right, Juliana. Very good. We need adjective for curious because curious is a word that's describing the cat. I'm busy right now. I'm doing a lesson. I'm, I'm busy doing the lesson. I'm busy doing my lesson. All right, so curious cat, and we need adjective and noun boy for that because cat is a noun and curious is an adjective. Very good. Okay, I think we're coming up to our last puzzle from the Riddler here. 
Who can help me with this one? Sleeping deeply. Sleeping deeply. Very good. Sleeping deeply. And which two superheroes do we need for this? Adverb for deeply. Mm -hmm. We need a verb and matrix for deeply. Very good, because it's an adverb. And what about the first word? Verb. That's right, verb, it's an action to sleep. So sleeping is a verb, right? So we need a verb girl and the adverbinatrix to help us solve that one. Very good, you guys. Okay. okay, I think we, oh, I thought we were done, but it looks like he has one more for us. The kids are hungry. The kids are hungry. Wow, he gave us a whole sentence. Okay, which? Which uh, which superheroes do we need to help us solve this? Um, hungry is adjective. That's right, Juliana. Very good. And what about the kid? What about kids? Kids is noun boy. Kids is a noun boy. That's right. Very good. Noun and adjective. Great job, you guys. Those were some super difficult puzzles from the Riddler. You did an amazing job solving those. I thought for sure he was going to stump you. Uh, so can we read a book? Can we read a book? Well, I was, yeah. we, can, we can read a book, but you know what I was thinking we can do right now for a few minutes is Dove is already kind of doing this. Um, what we, what I did today was I invented uh four superheroes for us right the noun boy verb girl uh adjective and the adverbinatrix and so what i was hoping we could all do together here is i'll give you guys a couple minutes if you want to go and grab your paper and your markers and your crayons maybe everybody can draw their own superhero today and it can be you can, you can you can draw um you can draw one of our superheroes if you want. Like you can draw Noun Boy or Adverbinatrix. I don't draw. I don't want to draw. Okay, you don't have to draw if you don't want to draw. But if, I don't want to draw either. You don't want to draw either? Okay. Uh, so how do you spell superhero? Let's spell it. It's S-U-P-E-R-H-E-R-O. Very good. I, I do have a book about a superhero that I can read you guys. Would you like me to read you a book about a superhero? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> okay, I'll be, I'll be right back. And uh, while I'm gone, Dove can show you his superhero drawing. I'm not and then I'll read, you my, I'll read you a book about superheroes. So just wait for a minute, okay? I'll be right back. That's not done. Is it S? S-U-P-E-R. H E R O. What? Why is Spencer naked or something? That. That was a part of a, a part of stars. What? A part of stars. Oh. I think Spencer is naked. What? Mm. Okay, then where's Sasha? You can get a book. Yeah, but let's guess what superhero is it? Is it um, four superheroes? Or is it just cowboy? He was favorite. Or what? I don't know. I'm not a soothsayer. Oh. Um, Juliana, that stick that you have, I, I don't want that stick. My friend Amy has the same stick. Not this. It's like this, and it, and she has a magic one. Her dad can make magic with it. If he has something, then he can just 
do it with the wand and then the, it just gets away into magic. Oh, are you guys what's this? Are you guys ready to read a book about a superhero? Yes. Very good. What is this superhero? Does anybody know this book? No. no. Anybody. This is a really great book. It's about a superhero dog named Dex. Okay? And it's called Dex, the Heart of a Hero. All right, that's our, can you guys all see that? That's our dog. Yes, Juliana. It's not about superheroes. Yes, it is. It's totally about a superhero. It's about. No, the, no, the question that we have is in it. The, what, what about the question? The question that was going to ask you is not about superheroes. Oh, that's okay. Go ahead and ask me before I start. Um, you say supercalifragilisticexpialidocious when you don't know what to say. Oh yeah, it's a pretty fun way to uh, to to not give an answer. I agree with you. Very cool. Okay, all right, we're gonna get started. This is a book about Dex. This dog named Dex. Okay. Here is Dex. You guys see that picture? Okay, I'm going to show you pictures and then I'm going to kind of take turns reading because it's a little tough to, to do both. So Dexter was a little dog. His legs were little. His tail was little. His body was little. He looked like a plump sausage sitting on four little meatballs. Being the size that he was, Dex was often overlooked. The other dogs grew tired of waiting for Dex to catch up when they played. Yes. I'm going to show you, I'm going to read and then show you the, the pictures. I'm going to go both ways, okay? And I'm going to mute everybody so it's a little easier for me to read. Okay. Being the size that he was, <clears throat> Dex was often overlooked. The other dogs grew tired of waiting for Dex to catch up when they played chase, and after a while, they forgot to invite him at all. No one really seemed to notice him, except when Clevis, the tomcat, demonstrated how he could stand right over Dex and not even ruffle his fur. And that's Dex, the little guy right there, the little dog Dexter. And you see how everybody's laughing at him and making fun of him because he's so little. And even the cat, Clevis, is showing how, how much bigger he is than him. Okay. <clears throat> yes, everything about Dex was little, except for his dreams. He wanted to be a hero. He could just see it. And the mighty Dex flew up into the dark and starry night. That's him dreaming about being a powerful superhero, right? But wanting and being are two different things. Also, you guys, wanting and being are what part of speech? Wanting and being. Is that a noun, a verb, an adverb, or an adjective? It's a noun. It's a verb. Wanting and being, to want and to be, are things you do, right? Okay. Uh -oh. Wanting and being are two different things. Dex lived on dreams until one day, after crawling out from under Clevis yet again, he decided there had to be more to life than gazing at the underside of a cat. 
there had to be more to him. If he could be a hero, he would. So Dex started training. He read every superhero comic book he could find. He watched every hero movie ever made. He went to the library. Furiously, he studied, knowing that everything depended on him. There he is in the library. He's studying every superhero comic book he can find because he wants to change his life. <clears throat> Dex figured that a hero must have strong muscles. He needed exercise and lots of it. Dex started trotting to the corner and back every morning. He hopped over every crack in the sidewalk. There he is, exercising and running up and down the sidewalk and jumping over the cracks, right? Well, right now I'm reading the book though. So then we can show them after the book. After the book. After the book. Dex struggled to climb the garbage pile up and over and down, then up and over and down again. All day long he worked, day after day, even at bedtime when he wanted to just flop on the rug with his tongue hanging out, Dex forced himself to circle five extra times. And the mighty Dex pressed on through wind and rain and storm and fatigue. See here he is training, he's climbing over the garbage bags. And here he's jumping over cracks in the sidewalks. He's training and exercising so he could be a strong superhero dog. When it got easier to run to the corner and back, Dex did it again and then again. He dragged a sock filled with sand as he ran, then two socks. When Clevis was bored, Clevis the cat that was making fun of him, and stood in the middle of the sidewalk to block his way, Dex dropped to the ground and slid right under him. He was too busy to be bothered by Clevis. Here is Dex training, dragging two socks full of sand, and he's even crawling under Clevis and all the other animals that are laughing at him. He doesn't care. He's training. He's preparing to be a superhero, right? He's working hard. <clears throat> Dex was tired. He was sore. He was working so hard that he almost forgot what he was working for. But one night, as he dragged himself to bed after his last set of push-ups, Dex stopped in front of the mirror and flexed. <gasps> He could feel them. He could see them. Muscles. Mu he could see them muscles. He could, them. His, he could see them muscles. There he is looking in the mirror. See, he's got big muscles now from all the exercise he's been doing. Uh, which one do you like more, Papa? I like this one more. Yeah, this that's a good one. Which one do you like? Can you guys see that? I like him. There he is with his big muscles in the this, mirror. This, that's what I like. Which mm -hmm. one do you like? The same one. Yeah. Faster than a rolling ball, stronger than the toughest raw hide, able to leap tall fences in a single bound. Now Dex didn't take the stairs. He skimmed them. He leaped over hydrants. He vaulted up curbs. He could jump over the garbage mountain without touching the top. He could run like the wind. He felt as if his legs had springs, right? Can you guys, uh, we're going to pause for just a second. There were a lot of verbs in that sentence, right? A lot of action words. Take the stairs, skim them, leap over hydrants, right? Uh, vault up curbs, jump over the garbage mountain, touching the top, run like the wind. All those words, run, vault, jump, skim, leap, those are all verbs, right? That's all verb girl stuff. Okay. Only one thing was missing. Finally, a small brown package arrived. Dex ripped it open. It was his hero suit. It was red with a shiny green cape, and it fit like a glove. 
Dex loved the way it felt. He loved the way it looked. And he loved, loved, loved the feeling that he had when he put it on. He was ready. There he is, Dex, in his superhero suit with a D on his chest. That for, means for... that <laughs> his name is I'm not Dex. His name is Dove. <laughs> well, I mean... <laughs> with the, with the courage of a lion, the strength of a bear, and the heart of a hero. His, well, his name starts with a D. When Dex went out in his suit for the very first time, he looked up the street and down. He noticed a young pup trying to cross the street. Dex sprang into action. Here's the young puppy that's trying to cross the street by himself, and he's scared, right? May I help you, he asked. He guided the wide-eyed pup across the street and grinned as the pup stared up at him with, his mouth hang with its mouth hanging open. The, pup, the pup whispered, wow, it's Superdog. Superdog. Dex liked the sound of that. There he is. There's Dex helping the little puppy cross the street. Right there. <clears throat> of course, when Clevis the cat saw Dex, he just had to comment, Hey, Dex, where's the party? And when he saw him a few days later, Clevis called out, Look, everybody, it must be Halloween. Anybody got a treat for Dex? Dex was so busy that he was able to ignore Clevis, for the most part. The only time his face even got red was when Clevis yelled, Where'd you get that dress up? Dex had to wonder if Clevis saw anything but the suit. Didn't he understand that the suit was just a way to let people know that he was there to help? The sun glinted off his emerald cape as Superdog raced to the rescue. There's Dex going about and doing all of his superhero things, and all the dogs and Clevis the cat still laughing at him and making fun of him, right? Dex did a lot. There was a mouse that he saved from a sewer. There was a purse snatcher that he tackled. Somebody that tried to steal a purse and Dex caught him. He fixed his neighbor's sprinkler. He found a lost kitten. He pulled a rat away from a live wire. He tracked down a lost wallet. He put out a trash fire. He organized the neighborhood cleanup day. It seemed that now, whenever anyone needed help, they turned to Dex, and Dex had never been happier. Here's all of the things that he's been helping people with, right? What the fuck was it? Mm -hmm. You guys see that? All of his good deeds, all of the help that he's been providing people. <clears throat> late, <clears throat> late one evening, when there was there was a banging at the door. When Dex answered, it seemed as if the whole neighborhood was yipping and yowling in a panic. It's Clevis, they shouted. He's stuck in a tree. Hurry, Dex. Dex raised his eyebrows. It was not like Clevis to move enough to get into any trouble, but in a flash, he was dressed and ready. It was clearly a desperate situation. There's the whole neighborhood, all the cats and dogs coming to Dex for help because Clevis, is, the cat, is stuck in a tree. As he got closer, Dex could see Clevis. He had been chasing a squirrel to the top of a tree, but he had slipped and was hanging by one claw from a slender branch. He was yowling for all he was worth. You guys see that? There's Clevis by the moon, hanging from a very slim branch of a tree. He's in real trouble, right? That silly cat. I'm slipping, Clevis screeched. Help me! Dex looked desperately around for something to climb on. There were no boxes or ladders, not even any trash cans. Then Dex looked at the crowd. Quick, everybody, Dex shouted. I've got an idea. Dex leaped onto the end of the teeter-totter, facing the tree, pushing it to the ground. Everybody on the other end. One, two, three. All the animals jumped together on the other end of the teeter-totter, catapulting Dex into the air. He soared over the crowd, his ears and cape streaming out behind him. 
There's Dex's idea. See, there's the teeter-totter right there. And he had everybody jump on the other side of the teeter-totter and it launched him into the air. He flew up in the air towards Clevis. The mighty Dex flew up into the dark and starry night. Dex scrambled onto the branch next to Clevis. Quickly, he pulled off his cape and tied its four corners onto the screeching cat. Jump, Dex shouted. Jump, Clevis. There's Clevis hanging from a tree branch by his one, one little claw, right? Oh my God, that's There's so There's Dex hard. helping him out at the top of the tree. With an ear-piercing shriek, Clevis let go. The billowing cape caught the air and parachuted the big cat to the ground. Dex backed up and slid to the ground amidst the cheers of the crowd. Super dog, super dog. Super dog, super dog. Super dog, super dog, super dog. There's, <laughs> there's Clevis flying down on the on the cape that Dex gave him, using it as a parachute, right? There he is coming down safely from the tree. And everybody cheering for Dex. Dex was bruised and tired, but he forgot his discomfort as Clevis sheepishly lumbered over, still tangled in the green cape. Thanks, Dex. You really are a hero. Dex didn't think he could feel any better, but he did just a little the next day when Clevis sidled up to next to him and, and whispered, Say, Dex, could I be your partner? Dex looked at the big tomcat and down. It would take a lot of work to turn Clevis into a hero. He could hardly wait. Sure, said Dex, grin with, said Dex with a grin. Sure. With twice the brains and triple the brawn, our heroes for John, ever ready to lend a helping paw. There is Clevis and Dex, and they are going to be superheroes together. Now they're going to be a team, right? And that's it. That's the story of Dex, the heart of a dog. Dex, the little dog that everybody made fun of, who trained and exercised and prepared and became a superhero and even saved the cat Clevis that used to make fun of him. Did you guys like that story? Yes. Yes. A lot of verbs in that story, right? Jump, and climbed, and yes. I like that story. What's that? What did you say, guys? I can't hear you. I was unmuted the whole story. But I didn't talk. We did this at our grandma's house. You read the same? Oh, you made that at your grandma's house? Yeah. Awesome, awesome, you guys. Well, I hope you liked the story, and I hope you liked our superheroes today. Do you remember what they were called? Who remembers what our superheroes were called? Noun boy. Not done yet. Noun boy, and what else? Bird girl. Bird girl. You know we're not done with our lesson. Verb girl. Adjective. Adjective. Adjective and one more. Adverb something. Yeah, yeah. The last one. Let's let's meet them again real quick so we don't forget. Okay. Let's go all the way up. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Let's go all the way back through our presentation here and meet our heroes one more time. Noun boy, uh -huh. who names people, places, and things. No, Bob, don't read it. Verb girl, who names action words. Yeah. Adjective, he describes the nouns. And the adverbinatrix, she describes the verbs and her words often end in L-Y, right? How verbs are done, quickly, slowly, very good. Those are our super, our four superheroes. And that of course is the Riddler. And you guys gotta be careful because he might come back. All right, and before we finish our lesson, I know that Dove wanted to show you guys something. So Dove, would you, are you ready? To show? Two things. Okay, two things. Dove is I want to share my screen now. He is super hero. He's 
Mask cups. Oh yeah, we got see these PJ Mask cups. You guys look at that. That's Catboy and Gecko and Owlette. These are cups that you can drink from. Hang on one second. Don't hang on a second. Don't share your screen just yet, guys. I wanna do want to show you one more thing, okay? Guys, guess which superhero this is. Um the the Dex. No. The the, the Queen Cat. No, Batman. Very good. And Thanks. Batman. See, this is his dream um, that he's flying into the air super, super high. And he's flying into space and he can see everything. That's what his dream is. That's awesome, Dove. Thank you so much for sharing. This is and great. And this spells, I didn't need it. Uh -huh. This spells. That man is a... Superhero. Very good. This is Batman. Very good, though. Thank you for sharing. Okay. Can I share my screen now? Yes, you can share your screen now. Go ahead. Are you gonna draw something for us to guess again? Yes. Okay. It's gonna be a superhero. Okay, we're ready. But it's not gonna be a superhero. Okay. Well, go ahead. What? I thought fine. Okay, so uh, this is that's easy to guess. That is it. Is that Valentine's Day? No, I I'm thought. No, I'm erasing this. I'm erasing this. I just. I'm not doing this now. I'm erasing. You know what, you just, you don't have to click on it. You just hold the mouse down for a long time. Yes. You'll be mouse to time. Oh. Okay. So, what's this? Uh, I don't, we don't see anything yet. Well, this is, wait, mom. Uh, okay. Oh. No. No. Huh? She's doing more stuff. No. I don't think she's drawing oh. hill. Hill. No. Mountain. What? Alien. Aliens. No. Rocket. No. Is it a dress? No. Um, it's a bag with potatoes in it. Is it a bag with potatoes in it? No. Is it a bag with eggs in it? No. Is it a bag with rocks in it? No. Is it a bag with donuts in it? Oh, uh, it might be a bag with donuts. Is it a bag with donuts? No. Is it a bag with... Uh, 
What else could those be? Eyes. Is it a bag with eyeballs in it? No. That looks like eyeballs. No. Is it a bag with... Those are definitely eyeballs. Ugh. A bag with eyeballs. Ooh. Yeah, are, they, not balls. are they delicious? Can we eat them? No. Are they edible? Yeah. Are you? Uh, it. What? I don't even. Up. <laughs> what? Are you done? Can you give us a, a clue? Can we have a can we have a hint? No. You can't give us a clue? That means it's gonna be too easy, Dad. Oh. Well, okay. Is it a bag? No. Is it a Is it a, is it is a, I think it's a volcano. Volcano? Is it a volcano with eyeballs in it? No. Do you know what it is, Mila? Yes. Can you give us any sort of a clue? Please. Okay, Don't... I'll try to. Okay, so what is it? Give us a clue. Well, it's kind of a dress and kind of a bag. It's kind of a dress and kind of a bag? Yes. So it's a dress and a bag. It's a, it's a bag that you can wear like a dress? Or, uh, yeah. Or a dress that you could use like a bag? So you could you could go to the store in this dress, and then when you buy a bunch of stuff at the store, you can take off the dress and put the stuff in the dress. But then you're gonna be naked. Well, then you have to bring an extra pair of clo set of clothes. That's good. Yeah. But then you're gonna change in the store. You can change in the store, like behind the avocados. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the, what's better is you could put clothes on and on the clothes you could put the dress and then when you take it off, nobody's going to see it on. Is it a big bag or a small bag? Uh, a small one. But it's a, it's a bag that you could wear like a dress? No. You cannot wear it. So it's not really kind of a dress. It's not really a dress then, if you can't wear yes. it. Yes. Yes, it is a dress or no, it's not a dress? It's no, it's not a dress. Okay, so, so it's a bag. No, it's not a bag. Has it turned into something different from the last time you told us that it was kind of a bag and kind of a dress? Nope. What, what's inside there? Is it something inside? No. Or is it just a pattern? Just a pattern. Okay. But it's not a dress. Yes, it's not a dress. Uh, I don't know. I give up. I'm confused now. I give up. It's, it's a, like, it's a kind, well, uh, I think I can do a hand for you give us a hint so it's for babies it's a bib it's for babies yeah it's a bib it's what you wear when they eat it's what they wear when they oh it's a bib of course no it's not a bag a bib ah that mm -hmm. <laughs> it's called a bib in english B I B. Yes, it's a, it's a bib. That's what babies wear when they. I think she's actually kind of right. It is kind of a bag and it is kind of a dress. 
because it's a piece of clothing, sort of, and it also. And they have something else. It catches stuff. You know. I have to give this one. What? I have something else. You're gonna draw I, one more thing. I have to guess the thing. Yes. Okay. You are not. Okay, so. Mm. What is that? Okay, so now I need. Is that a tree? No. Oh my god, fuck, he draws so hard. Oh no. Yeah, it's tough, I don't know. It's very challenging. At the rook? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's a tree. It's a palm tree. No. Oh, she goes hard. Bye, guys. You'll guess it if you know what's that red thing. I, it looks like a tree. Yeah. No, it's not a tree. Is it a cave? What? Is it a cave? A cave? No. A volcano. It's yes. What? Oh, it's a volcano. We guessed it. It's an erupting volcano. A volcano is a noun, and erupting is a verb. Do you know what I do? It in it. Look. Oh, it's a volcano that has hearts in it. Uh huh. It's a it's a love volcano. Mm. Very mm. good. Mila, this was super fun. Thank you for sharing your drawings with us. We, we've got to go now, but it was really nice to see you guys. Thanks, everybody. I hope you had fun today. Dove, I can call you when, uh, I can call you when it's full, when I can. Okay. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.